Okay then, so now we know all about controllers, views, and route files, hopefully, I think we need to shift our focus to the database side of things and start to work with some real data for this project. So for this episode, I'm assuming that you already have MySQL installed on your computer and that you know the basics of how to use it. Now, if you installed ZAMP on your computer earlier, then MySQL will have come along for the ride and that will have been installed too. Now, if you don't know how to set this up, or you have no idea what MySQL is, or what I'm talking about at all, then definitely check out my PHP and MySQL course for beginners first of all. That link is going to be down below, and in that course I go into detail about how to set all of this up. So, first of all then, let's create a new database, and I'm going to show you two ways to do this. First, using PHP MyAdmin, which is a visual interface for MySQL, and then secondly, using the command line. So, first of all, let's open up ZAMP, run that, and you need to start Apache, which is the server and MySQL. So once you've done that and you see these green lights, go to admin for MySQL, and that is gonna open up PHP MyAdmin, which is the visual interface for working with MySQL. So over here, you can see our tables, and we need to create one for our project. So to do that, I'm gonna click on new, and then give this database a name. I'm gonna call it Pizza House, and then create and then it's asking us to create a table as well. I'm not gonna do that because we're gonna do that using migrations later on. So for now, I just wanted to show you how to actually create this database, but now I'm also gonna show you how to create one using the command line interface because we are gonna be using that a lot when we're interacting with our database in the future. So let me actually delete this by clicking on the little icon there next to Pizza House and go to drop the database and okay. So I'm gonna keep up PHP MyAdmin because we will pop into it from time to time just to see how our database is looking. But now what I'm gonna do is actually create a database from the terminal over here. Now, in order to do that, first of all, you'll need to add MySQL to your path variable. So if you open up a folder and just navigate to the XAMPP folder over here, that's where it should be installed on the C drive. And then if you go down to MySQL, and then go into bin. This is the path right here to MySQL, and this is the path that we need to add to our path variable. So I'm gonna copy that. I've already done it, but this is what you should do. Copy that path, and then go down here and say ENV, and go to edit the system environment variables, then click on environment variables, and then on the path one right here, click on edit, and down here you can see I've already got this path right here. That means I can use MySQL anywhere on my computer. But if you don't see this, just go to New and add that path in that we just copied like so. Now I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need it. So delete that and press OK and press OK. Now you should be able to use MySQL down here in the terminal. So the first thing we need to do is log in. So to do that I'm going to say MySQL and then I'm going to say hyphen U and root, so root is the default username, and now I'm logged in to MySQL. Now the next thing we need to do is say create database, and then the database name, so I'm gonna call it pizza house like so. And you need to put a semicolon, by the way, at the end of each statement. I always forget to do that, so semicolon and press enter. And now you can see, query okay, one row affected. So it should have created that database. So if I go back over here and refresh, we should see Pizza House over here, awesome. So we have that database created now. So now we've created the database, we need to tell our Laravel project which database to connect to using what credentials. And we can do that inside the EMV file over here. So if you scroll down to where it says database right here, currently it's saying Laravel. Now we've created one called Pizza House. So we need to replace this with Pizza House. So it knows to connect to that database. Now down here is your username and password. Currently we have root, which doesn't have a password in my case, and this is fine for development. If you want, you could create a new user and password uh, in MySQL for the database, and you can use those instead. Or you could keep the default root one for development, which is what I'm gonna do. So once you've updated this, just exit out of the server and connect again. So I'm gonna press Control C where I'm running this PHP Artisan serve and exit out. 
then I'm going to run the exact same command again. And we need to do this because we've changed which database we're connecting to. So when we run this now, it's going to automatically connect to this database so that in the future, when we're trying to interact with that database, we can. So in the next video, we're going to look at migrations, which is how we actually create tables in the database.